How to make great coffee in your DeLonghi Pump Espresso machine. This video has been created to offer you hints and tips on making the best coffee beverages with your DeLonghi Pump Espresso machine. About the coffee. First and foremost, always use freshly ground, good quality espresso coffee to give you the best possible extraction. Choose your blend according to your personal taste. To avoid wastage, purchase coffee in small quantities. This way, you only use what you need and it's guaranteed to be fresh. Store coffee in a cool, dark and dry container. Vacuum seal if possible. If you grind your own powder from fresh coffee beans, remember the grind size can affect the brew strength. If coffee is ground too coarse, then coffee will flow too quickly and be weak. This is known as under extraction. Coffee that is ground too fine will flow slowly and may be thick or taste burnt. This means it is over extracted. About the preparation. To maintain the best temperature, preheat your espresso or cappuccino cups using the cup warmer storage on the top of the machine. Alternatively, warm them in hot water or use a thermal style cup. Ensure your first coffee is the ideal temperature by pre-warming the filter and filter holder before making coffee. Simply fit the filter to the filter holder without coffee in it, add it to the machine and place a cup underneath. Select the single cup option and purge the machine allowing hot water to pass through the filter into the cup. This will also pre-warm the cup too. Use one level scoop of freshly ground coffee for best results. This is roughly 7 grams. For simplicity, you will find a scoop with every DeLonghi machine. Tamping the coffee is recommended to produce an even, compact bed of coffee for brewing. Applying too little pressure will cause the coffee to be weak and under extracted, and applying too much pressure may result in thick, burnt tasting coffee, over extracted. Use a pressure of between 10 and 15 kilograms for freshly ground coffee or 15 to 20 kilograms for pre-ground packaged coffee. Use a scale to get an idea of how much pressure this is. Machines come with a tampering accessory or built-in press. Professional style tampers can also be purchased. Remove any residual coffee grounds from the filter and filter holder rim before placing into the machine for brewing. This will eliminate the possibility of leakages, blocking and dirt buildup. Tips for creating great hot milk and milk foam. It is best to use fresh, cold, semi-skimmed milk, about 1.5% fat. Once steam has been selected, purge the steam nozzle to eliminate any excess water before you start frothing the milk. When choosing a jug, Bear in mind that the milk will double or triple in volume during aeration. The jug should be metal with a handle and an ideal size is around 400 ml. You can identify whether you are frothing or texturing the milk correctly by the sound that it makes. A screeching sound could indicate that the steam nozzle is too deep in the jug. And a bubbling and sputtering sound could mean it's not deep enough. Ideally, you should hear a hissing sound when the steam nozzle is in the best position. The milk will be at its best when it reaches around 60 to 65 degrees. Usually when it becomes too hot to keep your hand on the bottom of the jug, it's ready. Once you have frothed the milk, tap the jug on the counter to remove any large air bubbles. Spin or swirl the milk to ensure the milk and foam combine a little and to give it a glossy finish. Pour the milk or foam immediately after spinning to ensure that the milk and foam do not separate. On some DeLonghi machines, there is an adjustable frother. Simply move it up for hot milk and down for milk foam. Some DeLonghi machines have a removable tray, allowing large glasses to be placed directly under the filter holder. This allows you to create a long black coffee, Americano and long milk drink such as a latte with ease. Always keep the frother clean to avoid poor performance and flavour. 